I'm sorry. He said in a low voice. You left your eyelashes to look at him and then again at his hand which were massaging your feet which you hurt a while ago. One of his enemies attacked the place where he was living with you. It was so sudden that no one even realized what to do. But luckily, they handled everything and made you and Jungkook run safely from there. You are now in a hotel room. He doesn't want to go to any of his other mansion as it may be not safe. I always put you in problems. I'm really for- sorry for that. You don't have to because you are the one who always saved me from every problem. He didn't react and focus on his wife. You both get married a few months ago. It's an arranged marriage fixed by your parents. Your dad is one of the most successful businessmen of Korea and Jungkook's father a most dangerous mafia boss. He saw you in a cafe one day helping a lady and the very next day he show up with a marriage proposal for you. In a greed for power, your dad say yes to this marriage. You both were against it but get no choice just to accept what is chosen for you. I'm going out because of some business work and I can't take a risk to take you with me. So it's better if you stay here. When will you come back? Maybe within a week. Until then stay with mom. It's not safe for you to stay alone and I can't bring myself to believe the bodyguards. Soul is not safe for you. at least not now so i will drop you to mom's house in gosan for a week you nodded he closed the first date box and looked at you stay here i will go and order something to eat will it be fine if you go for a walk at night any time you want he nodded and left from there leaving you alone You looked at the direction where Jungkook just left. Everyone was busy in talking while laughing, but you were so nervous to get yourself comfortable with them. You barely visit your in-laws since you get married, but they all are so nice to you. While tapping your feet on the ground, you were patiently waiting for him to come back. At least you won't feel outcast among them. Suddenly you feel an elbow nudging you. You looked at the side and saw Somi. Jungkook's step sister. She smiled at you while you smiled back at her. J- Jungkook just went to use washroom. Why are you being so impatient? I know that you both are young couples who just got married, but girl, just don't be a lovey dovey. We are here for a family dinner. She said in a little teasing voice to which you just smiled. Are you going to stay here? You said while changing the topic, but she is not someone who can distract easily. Oh come on, don't try to change the topic. I am not dumb to get distract. I am not. It just I am not so into your family. Things are still a little different for me. That's why I am feeling little un- uncomfortable around. Oh you mean that we make you uncomfortable and Jungkook is the only one who make you feel good. Well, of course, after all he is your husband. She is acting like she is hurt. It's not like that only. It just she loves seeing your face turn all pink. But in your back she tells you that she is just joking. Well, joke apart. Now tell me when you are making me angry. Your face turn all red by her question. She was looking damn serious, marking her every word. She looked at you innocently. You girl. Actually, Unni, wait! Don't tell me that you both didn't even plan for it. Aish, how can you do this to me, huh? I just plan everything. Suddenly, someone hit her on her head. She looked back while rubbing her head. What? Why are you troubling her? Just don't make her nervous. Oh, idle husband. She said in a teasing tone. You smiled slightly. Jungkook walked and sat beside you. Don't take her seriously. She just have a habit to tease others. It's okay. But is she going to stay here?
No, I am going back to Seoul. Huimang has classes from tomorrow. Oh, Jungkook can I stay with Unni then? I mean, like this I also get time to know them more and I won't even feel bored. He shook his head while eating his dinner, you look down. Why? If she wants to stay with me then let her. It's for about a week only, right? Jungkook put his spoon down and looked at her. Somi tried to understand. I don't want her to stay in Seoul and especially when I am not around. You know what happened a few days ago. Oh come on, I am here mother too. And don't worry about her. She will be all safe with me. After all, she is like a Somi to me. Jungkook smiled and nodded. He looked at you and gave you an assured smile. I will try to finish my work as soon as possible. Take your time and especially be safe, don't hurt yourself. He nodded and for the rest of the dinner you all talk about random stuff. And as always, Somi didn't stop teasing you. In just a short time, they make you comfortable with them. After so many years, you had your dinner with your whole family. Now for you, these people are your family and everything. Two weeks passed but Jungkook didn't come. It's the worst time of your life. You want to escape from here but you don't have the guts to do that. Every single day of your spend in fear, every single night you cry. Now all you want to do is to hug Jungkook tightly and never want to leave him. You never know someone as cruel as your parents, but now you see that someone can be worse than them. You were standing on the stair with tears in your eyes. Maybe it's because you are so happy to see Jungkook. Without thinking anything about anyone, you run and hugged him tightly. He was taken aback by your move, by then smile and wrapped his arm around you. You miss me this much, huh? You said it will only take a week, then why do you take so much time? He carries your head while smiling. I'm sorry for that, my lady, but some urgent work come up, so it take me time. Did you enjoy with mom? Seems like she cared for you a lot. You didn't say anything and closed your eyes to feel his heartbeat. She always asks for you. You make her only up to you. All she needs is you around her. All day just stay in her room and does nothing. She is still a child. Jungkook said nothing, just caresses your hair while your eyes get teary but you didn't say anything and wish not to come here ever again. You tiptoe on your feet looking for sugar in the cupboard. Suddenly you feel someone present behind you. You turn back and your eyes widen, your step black pressing your body to the counter as you see Jungkook's body towering over you. It's the first time in your life that your heartbeat was beating so fast and loud and to be because of him. He put his eyelashes down and your bubby eyes meet his big toe eyes and you get lost in them. It's not like you never saw him from this closeness, but this time it's different. You look down and get aside. He take the sugar and give it to you. Here take this. He took the sugar from his hand and again started to make coffee for you. He felt something so weird. You were acting all weird. You never spend time with him. You don't laugh and crack jokes like you used to do. He already said something wrong that day but your this behavior made it clear to him that there are something is off with you. You grab the cup and extend it to him but the cup slipped from your hand and broke into a million of tiny pieces. Your eyes widened. You looked at Jungkook. I, I will clean it and also made you another coffee but please don't get angry with me. Please, I will do it really quick. Jungkook looked at you all confused. You sit on the floor and started to clean the glasses with your hands. But a piece stick inside your palm and you scream in pain. Jungkook worriedly comes to you and throws the piece from your hand. Are you crazy? You even know what you are doing, Vyan. 
वट हैपन वाई एंड वाई आर यू बिहेविंग लाइक दिस हाँ इज देयर समथिंग दैन टेल मी प्लीज यू लुक डेट हिम एंड योर आई स्टार्ट टू शेड टीयर्स हिज हार्ट एच एस टू सी यू लाइक दिस वट हैपन He gently grabbed your shoulder but you hissed in pain. He quickly leaves you and looked at you confused. You didn't look up at him and you continued to cry. He didn't take much time to understand the situation. He lowered the dress of your shoulder and his eyes widened seeing the marks on it. He folded your sleeves and it feels like someone stabbed him. With a sharp knife, he looked at you with anger in his eyes, the anger you never saw before. His thumb softly curses your bones. Who did this to you? You didn't say anything and kept on crying, but little he knows about the person who can be this cruel, and even more. He held both of your hands and made you look at him. Is it mom? You again didn't say anything. Janko can't clench his inner fist as he got up, but you grabbed his shirt sleeve. He looked at you and his eyes softened when you shook your head. He again sat on your level and cupped your cheeks. You really want me to leave her like this, the one who made you suffer? I don't want to become a fork in between you two. Please don't go. We were never well together but today she crossed every line of being a devil she don't deserve to be forgiven this time he said with anger in his eyes you hold his hand and look deep into his eyes promise me that you won't hurt her god sees everything and he is going to punish her but you won't do anything stupid but promise me He signed and nodded while wrapping his arm around your body. You hugged him and cried. I'm sorry. He whispered in a low voice, breaking the hug. He made you sit on the chair and started to treat your wound. He is the only person who cares for you after your brother. That's the reason you like him more than anyone. And more than anything. Seriously Mrs John why and the one who loves you the most guess what you don't even deserve her hate she always keeps on pushing me to be with you she always told me to make my family better with you but what you did you really have to go this far down that you even suspect her for stealing things you get crazy or what that's the reason i hate her because she is taking you away from me since the day she entered in your life you forgot everyone All you need is her around you every time. Seriously Mrs John, do you think that this is enough to tell me that why you give all those proceeds? Are you even in your right mind? I don't know if it is enough or not, but I know one thing that she deserved this for trying to take my child away from me. I finally started to think that things are getting better between us. Now we both started to talk with each other. Only a small talk but you were nev- not cold to me like you always were. A little hope was raised in my heart. Finally it's you me and your dad. Our whole complete family. But before the dream even started she comes in your life. I hate her more than she ever imagined. Your luck is with you today. If I didn't give her promise then today it may be your last day in this world. She asks me not to hurt you but she forgot that she is pleading for a devil. You never deserve me mom. That's why you failed to join the whole family. All you could think of is yourself and dad. It's just nothing to you more than a son of a lady who died. The real thing is that you never tried to fit me in your heart. We were never well together. Then how can you just thought to be together? She scoffed and walked close to him. This is how you change from cruel to heartless. I can be a devil too if you try to do this stupid things ever again. Don't forget that still doesn't know about your this side. So we should keep it secret from him. 
डोंट एक्सपेक्ट मी टू कम टू मीट यू एवर अगेन टू नेवर डिजर्व टू बी अ मदर एंड यस फाइंड अ रीजन टू एक्सप्लेन डेड अबाउट दिस बिकॉज आई थिंक यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू लेट हिम नो अबाउट योर दिस साइड एंड वट यू डिड विद बाई एंड He said, looking into her eyes with his dark orbs. He walked away from there, throwing the vase, which was kept on the table. She flinched slightly. The maid comes out all worried. She looked at Mrs. John and then at the broken glass. She was shocked by seeing Mrs. John in this condition. I will clean that. She went to clean the mess while Mrs. John was still standing there with tears in her eyes. Thank you.